Hi there guys and a huge welcome extended to you to this virtual walk around of our incredible spec BMW M3 and this one is of course the F80 variant. Now I'm going to show you all the options on this, all the aftermarket modifications and of course the exact reason of why you should certainly have this car delivered to your door or collected from HQ within 48 hours. Now let's get stuck in without further ado. Now to start with you can see you've got that sumptuous really deep gloss finish on the rare sapphire black metallic and that comes down you've got your camera your 437m alloy wheels you've also got your front parking sensors m specific bumpers and honeycomb mesh grille you've got your halo led headlights which are of course your daytime runners and the lights inside your main beam are by xenon across here you've got the vinyl wrap gloss black m3 kidney grills which are a very very popular option and you can see on the bonnet You've got a very reminiscent of the E92, a bonnet scoop as well. Just so anyone in front of you, when this comes snarling behind them, knows they're in for a treat. You've got your parking sensors all the way around, and now you've got a real close look at your 437M gloss black diamond cut alloy wheels. They've also got an Estrel blue brake caliper behind them with the M branding on. Now again, I'll just show you across the car so you can see no distortion. No dinks, no dents, no scratches, no marks, and no shock horrors. Just incredible looking paint that's been meticulously looked after by its previous owners. Now on the wing itself, you can see you've got your M3 badging and your front canyard, which is of course part of the aerodynamic styling pack. You've also got here your genuine M Performance flared extended side skirt, which is also part of the model. And moving up, you can see you've got your gloss black mirror surrounding just here and you've got your sapphire black metallic mirror as well and on this your indicators have been de-chromed as such and wrapped to give them a stealthier appearance now around the window you've got that high gloss shadow line which is very popular and of course that is to de-chrome your windows and keep that stealthy look you've got a gloss black door pillar and tinted privacy glass on the rear now up top you've got a really really cool carbon fiber roof which you can just see the contrast against the black roof bars this is normally reserved for competition models but the owner of this car previous has decided to go all out balls out with the incredible dedication to performance styling for me you can never have enough carbon fiber you can see the shark fin antenna in the back but that is also in the black sapphire metallic and moving around you can see the car free from any dinks dents distortion anything like that it's just a super clean super cool king of fast saloons there's just something about m3s isn't there and moving around you can see you've got your tinted limo black privacy glass on the back and you've got the optional extra of the lip spoiler which is also finished in black sapphire metallic I mean, down you can see you've got your BMW branding in the LED rear tail lights, and it moves all the way around. You've got your black M3 badging, and you've got your BMW badging. And moving down, you can see you've got them real aggressively styled sharp bumpers, gloss black diffuser, quad chrome black exhaust tips, and you've got your reflectors, little aerodynamic vents and canyards, and rear parking distance control as well. For me, that is possibly one of the best looking M3s I have ever seen in my life. Now to open the boot, you can either click underneath the badging or you can use the key. If you hold that down, that'll open the latch and you can just lift it up. Of which you will see, you have also got a reverse camera. Now the boot itself, this is a performance saloon, so it's not designed for extra amount of luggage. But you can see it's moderate in size. There's more than enough room in there for push chairs of a smaller variant. You can easily get your shopping in there. Golf clubs maybe at an angle. But suitcases, business needs, or just car parts like turbos and exhausts and spare wheels. Yeah, you can definitely get all that in there. And moving down, you can also see you've got sufficient storage underneath with your first aid kit and your tyre monitors. Now, shutting that down because it's not an electronic boot, we'll go all the way around and you can just see this M3 in all its glory. It's an absolutely incredible mega whip that really does do the talking for itself. 
and it's also subtly modified so this one does have a boot mod map on there which gives the car an unbelievable 511 brake horsepower so your standard m3 has 426 a standard m3 competition has 444 and this has 511 now it's also got the variable exhaust system but all those features are what we're going to cover when we head into the interior in just a moment so let's take a look inside this colossus <whistles> now don't tell anybody that greg from emerald didn't tell you that this was special you can see instantly this is now standard m3 this is one that has been set up by an absolute genius and a guy that is a true enthusiast and knows exactly what the M branding means to them. You've got your merino leather in black with your blacked out illuminated M badges on the seats. No real wear to the bolster and you can see the seats are in good nick. You've also got electric memory settings because that is one of the stacked options. You've got your M3 door inlay just here. You've got your velour matting. You've got your sports pedals and you've got your first taste of carbon fibre and you've got your chrome and pearl black chrome trim. You've got your auto headlight settings, fog lights and instrument cluster lighting. And moving on, you've got your first big brand name, which is of course the Harman Kardon sound system. Moving down, you can see that merino leather is extended onto the door cards with the white contrast stitching. And you've also got folding mirrors, electronic mirrors and electric windows. It's just such a stealthy car. If you were going to spec one in your mind, this is what it would look like. Now, the steering wheel, you can see that a lot of money has been spent on this. And what that is, is a carbon fibre and Alcantara LED illuminated steering wheel. The LEDs simply pop up on here and you have little messages on there to tell you when to change shift at the optimum time. And you can also get oil temperature and other various options. Carbon fibre is genuine. This is direct from BMW. It's not an aftermarket wheel. And you can see you've got the M Performance badging on the bottom to solidify its status. The Alcantara is, of course, from BMW as well. All the carbon in this is genuine, all the accessories, and that has got the M cross stitching as well. The steering wheel is the multifunction option that you're used to and it does have paddle shift which you've got the extended paddles on it's got your cruise control your mdm modes voice control bluetooth telephone and volume control and you can see you've also got your nice analog gauges in here that you've come accustomed to with the f80 you've got pro nav more carbon fiber air conditioning and then on there you've got the dual clutch transmission the semi-automatic gearbox that really gives this car an unbeatable performance that all of course is also dripping in carbon fiber and you've got the carbon fiber handbrake there with the m colorway on the gator now what we'll do before we get stuck into all that properly is we'll show you around onto the rear just so i can focus on the front a little bit more so you can see you've also got your merino leather in there with the white contrast stitching and white perforation. Seats are in fantastic order, there's Isofix, but there is no armrest or drop down box. Now for a car with as many miles on as this one, which isn't actually that much considering its age and how popular they are, I'm sure you'll agree this car is in unbelievably good condition and we're certain that this isn't going to last long. So, without further ado, let's get into the cabin and show you everything that this has to offer in terms of technology. So it is a push-button start, which is located just down here, and there is a aftermarket go system on this. So for a minute, you're just going to have to look away. Okay, so we're in. Now, if you listen to this as a cold start, and that's not even in mdm2 that is in your standard mode now the steering wheel you do get your led options when you are driving and you'll be able to see the little m performance logo pop up in here when you start the car up but the dash so you can see you've got your old school analog clocks you've got the m logo you've got here what gear that you're in and these are your different driving modes and setup so you've got your clocks in efficient you've got sport mode on your suspension and sport mode in the steering 
You've also here got any warning light. That one is because we have got the fuel reserve and you can see your handbrake one just in the middle and you've got your trip and miles remaining in the tank. To change them, you click the BC button and that will give you the time, it will give you the temperature and it can do the date as well. For me, we'll leave it blank so we can just see that. Now, if you do want to change your driving mode, really easy while we're on the subject of the wheel, you've got two modes in the MDM. You've got M1, which you'll see changes everything to Sport Plus. And if you give that a dip now, you're here. It gives a monstrous roar from the exhaust, which is truly, truly epic. And you can also click onto M2 mode, and what that does, that will take off the traction control and give you an even better noise. Now, if you do drive it in this mode, you will also get the overrun feature, which is also commonly known as popping and banging. Moving down onto the stalk here, you can see a very, very highly sought after optional extra on this BMW of working indicators. So to use these BMW guys, all you need to do is knock it up and that little green flashing light on there, that just indicates to the people behind you and in front which lane you want to go in. And if you put it down to the left, it also works there too. Amazing. And what we've also got on this side is you've got your automatic window wiper activation, and down here, you've got your automatic headlights, fog lights, instrument cluster as well. So, moving around onto the media system itself, we'll click onto there, and you can see you've got an absolute stacked roster of talent and plenty of different options. So if you click into multimedia, you've got your CD, your DVD, your music collection, and your external devices, which do include USB, Bluetooth, auxiliary, and all those. Your DVD, I do believe, but I'd have to double check, that on this, the previous owner has enabled video in motion when that was coded by the specialist in Wolverhampton of DD coding shout out to you and of course if you click on your sound you are able to change everything including your logic 7 Harman Kardon gives a real real clarity when you're listening to any genre of music or media if you click on radio FM AM DAB and DMB but of course you only ever need the latter You've got Bluetooth telephone because it's an M3 and of course you have and you've also got voice control on there as well. You've got navigation which we've said is the pro nav and you know this because you get the really nice big long screen with a real high contrast, real high resolution. To zoom in or out you use the iDrive and it's really simple just to go as far in or as far out as you want. You can also change all the different options on the map, you can change how it looks, bird's eye view, 3D and north facing. You've got BMW office which you can set up but you'd need to connect your phone. You've also got BMW Connected Drive, but you would need to speak to the guys at your local dealership because your subscription has run out on this particular model and they would need to get you re-signed up. Now the most important one is of course vehicle information. You can get into sports displays which display your power and your torque, which in one of these is actually quite fun to watch, especially this one. And the most important is, of course, vehicle status. Now, you can do your tyre pressure monitors, you can perform a reset, you can check your engine oil, you can measure your oil, you can go on service requirements, and you can check control. Now, if there's any faults, they will come up in check control, which obviously you can say there's no faults, but it just means we need to put fuel in. Now, bear in mind, I've just put £20 in, quarter of a tank, and that says you're still on the reserve. Now, if you click on service requirements, you can check your fluid, you can check your rear brake pads, your oil, your front pads, and when your vehicle is next due for its check. But the main one is service history. Now, as you can see, this one is more than fortunate enough to have had all its major services conducted by BMW, and we have also serviced this when it came into us as the part exchange recently on another performance car. When we are here at Emerald, what we do, we service every single car when it comes in, which just allows us to tell you, and we understand exactly what products have been used, and there's no cross-contamination. Now, on an M car, the most important service is, of course, this one, the first one, which is known as the running-in service. 
if you're looking at any other M car, we won't mind if you don't buy this one. But if you don't buy one that's had the, if you sorry, if you do buy one that hasn't had the running in service, you are really looking at a big serious bill. That is of course the most important service. So top tip for if you're buying an M car, always look for that maiden service around 1,000 mile. You've also got 2016, 18, 19 two in 2020 and we've also done one here as well and that really is it for that bit you can also go on trip computer onboard computer owner's handbook picture search quick reference and if you really want to you can measure your dynamics but yeah it's a tuned m3 you're certainly not going to care about miles per gallon and moving down you can click on your settings you can change many things so we'll start at the top m drive one so if you click in that you can change all the different options to how you want it configured and m drive two you can change that as well so you're on here you can see you've got your mdm you've got sport plus on all those you've also got a real sharp severity on the gears and you've got your head up display which is that little icon just there that looks like it's on the car but it's actually in your windscreen a real funky display and you can see when you rev it it gives you the display just on there now there are plenty of other options that you can do on the head-up display but you can change the m view to normal or the standard view which is of course just the speedo there but for us we love performance cars here we love m's so we're definitely going to set it back to that you can also change the brightness you can change the location so you can see now that the head-up display isn't really super visible now we've turned it up you can and you can adjust the height move it up and down now there is a little bit here where you'll see it will disappear now for me if i was driving that i would want that just about there so it's always in my eye line but not too distracting and you can turn it off as well if you don't want it on all you have to do is click on the tick on head-up display and that will turn it off You've got instrument cluster display, control display, time and date, unit, touchpad, which is this button here, which can also be used to write with. Connections, sound, speed, climate control, lights, doors. You have got so many different options to play with when you finally get your hands on this behemoth. Now, moving down, you've also got your fans here which of course control your heating or your air conditioning but encased in them is this gorgeous gorgeous high gloss finish high lacquered carbon fiber with a gorgeous pearl black chrome trim i mean when the guys spec this from new it's it's just every single option that you would want as i say it is the ultimate m3 now here you've got your old school radio set up for all the dads you've got your different modes you've got your, your antenna and your signal you've also got your power and your different buttons for your tracks or your stations cd player just there and moving down alongside this gorgeous piano black you've also got your heated seats for both the driver and passenger and you've got your front windscreen your rear windscreen and you've also got where the air blows You've got auto aircon, max aircon, and the option to turn aircon on. And you've also got where the wind is blown into the cabin, whether it be on your legs, your feet, your face, or of course your windows. You've also got how quick the air is propelled into the cabin from the fans. And if you press it down enough, it will turn off. You've got recirculation, auto or manual. And of course, you've got your second heated seating. Moving down, you've got the little lift up storage here with a 12 volt charger and you've got a bit of storage here that lifts out and you've got a dual cup holder as well now the real showpiece is of course the carbon fiber that is dripping all over the center console here so what you've got is your semi-automatic dct gearbox and all these again carbon fiber accessories are genuine from bmw now the gearbox is quite simple to use you put your foot on the brake and then you can easily move it across to neutral up into reverse and you'll see that your parking camera and your parking sensors on the front and the rear are automatically displayed and to move it into drive you knock it once to the right now what you'll see is that because this is in mdm2 mode you can see that we're in manual so if we knock that off for just a minute 
Now you'll see that it is in D, which is drive. If you knock it to the right again, that goes back into the manual mode. And if you want to knock it into sports, it's pretty simple. You just keep going and you change this little bit here. So you change your driving settings and you change those into sport mode. Really easy to do. You just do it on that little button there and that gives you an uprated throttle response and it gives you a much better driving feel. Now you can change the gears manually one of two ways. So now that it's in D, you can either flick into the flappy paddle and that will instantly tell you that you're in manual mode. This just gives you the real full control of the M3 and it allows you to just really, really individually drive the car. It, it, you can drive it tailored to your own personal requirements. If you want to redline every gear change and make real good progress, then that is something that you can do. However, that's not the way I would drive it all the time because it's going to cost you an absolute fortune in fuel. So you can just knock that back at any time to the right and into D and that will make it normal. Now this button here is the severity and the sharpness of gears. So as you can see now, the rate of change is quite slow, it will rev it quite nice, but what it will do, it will give you a nice smooth, easy transition between first and second, third and fourth, so on and so on, without you really noticing. But if you click that again and you put it up to three, then that's almost a track base feel. So what that'll do, that'll give you a real short, sharp and snappy ratio between gears, where if you don't change up in time, the car will start to kangaroo. You'll need to really, really understand how to drive properly if you are having it on that mode. But basically you get a shorter rev range and it's really short, sharp and snappy in order for you to hit race mode. But for our next owner, we'll put it there for him to start. Now you've also got these buttons here, so you've got traction control off. Now obviously these are rear wheel driven, so they're quite fun anyway. But if you turn that off, you are dancing with a devil. Unless you've driven an M3 that's tuned, or an M3 or an M car, or something German and performance, or Japanese, please do not get pressing that until you've drove it for more, oh god, I would say at least six months, and really got used to how these can drive. They can be quite outrageously fun, but they can also be lethal in the wrong hands. Now on here, you've also got your rev ratio for your Sports Plus and the way the car's driven. You've got your suspension set up, so you've got Comfort, Sport and Sport Plus. Obviously Sport Plus would be the firmer settings. And you've got your steering options here of Comfort, Sport and Sport Plus. You've also got your camera settings here of which you can see you've got the ones at the front and you've also got the cameras on the rear as well. So you can flick in between the two. So your front ones, you can see, it shows you here on the bar just where you are and how close you are parked. So that car respectively is there, the E63, and the 240i is just over there. So they are the two cameras that are on the side just by the 437M alloys. And moving down, you have of course got your iDrive control, which everybody knows how it works. And that of course controls your media unit just here. So for argument's sake, if we click nav, we brought back to that really nice pro navigation screen. And down here in a little bit more detail, you can see the genuine BMW carbon fibre on the handbrake itself. And you've got the sumptuous Alcantara M colorway on the stitching just there. You've also got the merino leather with white contrast stitching armrest. And when you lift that up, you can see you've got auxiliary in and you've got a place to stick your phone. But in terms of the interior of this M3, that is pretty much everything that I can show you. There isn't much more to do aside from take you on the virtual test drive of which will follow this little bit now. But I couldn't be happier that Emerald House of Cars are able to offer you this. It really, really is the best spec M3 that I've seen. And I've sold a few of these at different places over the years. But there's only one real thing left to show you before we leave. That is, of course, the engine bay. So the locator is down here to open. Pull it twice. That'll open it up. And what we'll show you in here now is just how nice the engine bay looks and what is driving this absolute powerhouse. Turns out I hadn't pulled it twice. 
there we go there's your second and because you've done that there is no latch to hold it up but there you go nobody can tell me that that doesn't look incredible you've got your carbon fiber strut brace just here you've got your m power here and you've got your vrsf intakes just on the side you can see that they are two huge turbos on these and they look absolutely unbelievable and let me just say the performance of this car is undoubtedly better than any m3 you've ever driven in your life so do you want to hear it from a little bit of revving now from the rear i thought so so this is now in mdm mode and you'll be able to hear it a bit better from the outside <laughs> And now you can hear the overrun feature. Now the car is warmed up enough to temperature. We wouldn't usually do that, but this is a totally different car to what you're used to. And just remember guys, that every single car here at Emerald House of Cars is treated to the Emerald 128 point check prior to retailing. This just ensures that you've got total reassurance when it comes to buying your next M or performance car. Our guys here are vastly experienced with these sort of cars, plenty of German stock and Japanese performance stock has passed through here in recent years. We're also RAC approved at our on-site facility and we take great care in looking after anything that we're fortunate enough to retail. Our 128 point check prior to this of course covers both cosmetic and mechanical components and it just ensures that when you turn up to HQ to be greeted by ourselves you have got the utmost reassurance that this is going to be your next perfect car if you do have any questions regarding finance part exchange we're more than happy to help if you've got any queries about the video the weirdo who's been filming it or questions about the car itself then do please check all the adverts or give us a call and we'll be more than happy to run through the list of modifications and aftermarket options on this stunning black sapphire metallic bmw m3 but for me, it's time to get a strep on, get my voice back. Thank you ever so much for watching, and we really do hope to see you at HQ very soon. Ciao, Bellas.